Portugal are on the cusp of making the knockout stage. Ever since the groups were announced, this is where they wanted to be, and indeed felt they ought to be. There is a sense of genuine theatre here. The loyal supporters hope it is all going to be wrapped up in the next couple of hours. Three points will guarantee that they get their wish. We sit in the colossal stands at the Giuseppe Miazza, making for such an impressive view as ever it has. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Portugal are utterly focused and determined. They know how much this means. Well, Peter, there's good pressure and bad, but this leans very much to the former and a big chance to take everything on a level. These players have to embrace and, and tackle the task ahead with the courage and confidence they've grown for a time like this. I expect them to, to swim and not sink, and they won't need a, a rubber ring here either. the whistle who do you think this turns on Jim one of the game's best ever Cristiano Ronaldo he brings a power to whatever he does and his unquenchable thirst for goals is always an enjoyable sideshow it's very rare he fails to leave his mark oh, hard to see past him he'll be looking to put on a show I'm certain of that it's come loose Bruno Fernandes What a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Portugal take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Now the counter. Bruno Fernandes. Chance to break. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Pepe gets it back. Pepe did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. William Carvalho brings the ball forward. William Carvalho goes looking. Gets the better of his... And the finish! It's in! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. So that goal went. Well, I thought once he got the first part of it right by getting his knee over the ball, it was always likely to be very, very low, and so it proved. Portugal themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's offside, yes it is.
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Marley getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Ronaldo very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Well played, he saw that coming. And now the breakaway. And it's Bernardo Silva. What a size of tries a shot! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass, that's what happens. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defense must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo just doesn't give up. You just know he'll be in there again before long. Yeah, the confidence we can admire. The decision-making, we can't. He learned from it. Keeper's done just about enough. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. And it's been taken short. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's one-on-one! He's -on -one. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Double quick time! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Things looking so easy, almost too easy. Yeah, he's fouled him there. it forward Nelson Semedo Pepe with the challenge and he has given away a free kick
What a ball this has turned out to be. Cristiano Ronaldo. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Oh, sweet feet. That's it into the middle. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue. Yeah, I think the first half performance that showed attack being the best form of defence. If they're in the face of the opposition that much, then there's little they can do in return. And I'm, I'm not sure how long they can keep the intensity and the tempo up, but it certainly paid off so far. Portugal have been nothing short of awesome in the first 45 minutes. A truly memorable performance on all counts. And it has to be. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. One. He gets past his man. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Plays it long. That's beautifully weighted. He's through now. Is he in? Pepe gets rid without sophistication. Portugal are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Hit into the middle. It's always going to be the keepers. And it's played forward. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. He's made sure that that won't get through. win here so important to their ambitions could move up a gear here no no way through there with a delicate ball he's got away Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo looking sharp there he's got options out wide Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And the defence can get it clear. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Balls out on the left now. Intervention was very necessary. Cleared without complication. Breaks on here. Ruben Neves battles to win it back. Well positioned to make that interception. And out to safety. It'll be a throw-in. Marley are making a change now.
a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Good run down the left, what can they make of it? Going through, and he's going long. Gets good distance on it. Ball through needs to be good here. He's got shoots! And that's why. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Quick thinking by the keeper, he did well. Portugal have it back and they can go again. <laughs> and it's Silva. And there's a long ball. Gonzalo did it. That's a pop! It's in! <laughs> and again, they pile on the misery. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? And then the manager called on him. He was only too happy to repay that fate. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. <laughs> Portugal tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Rafa Silva. Oh, good interception. And now they can launch a counter. And it's Ruben Neves. Well read, he sorted that out. Ruben Neves. He's there to clear it. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Marley can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Portugal have done it. They have made the knockout stage. So another win, that's two from two, and it is looking good. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Well, that is one big weight off the shoulders now. Progress that was well warranted if you consider the performances to this point. And I think with the pressure off, they can already start their preparations for the next step, which, uh, which puts them in great position.